Thank you for tuning into this video today from the Michigan Medical School Office of Research. As part of our Get That Grant series, we are going to be talking about how to boost your biosketch as part of our NIH biosketch grant related topics. We're going to be talking today about how the biosketch is an opportunity to enhance the competitiveness of your application by articulating your contributions to science, describing your impact on your field, and framing your work in your own words. Pro tip number one is to help the reviewers. So what do reviewers look for in the biosketch? First, they look to see, are you qualified to do the job you're proposing to do? Is there a good match between your track record and the proposed research aims? And are you a good match for the type of grant you are submitting? In section A, your personal statement, you should talk about your skills and the necessary experience you have that will ensure success in the project you're applying for. You want to demonstrate that you are the most qualified person to do the work proposed in the application. Make it easy for a reviewer to evaluate this. They also look to see, do you have peer-reviewed publications that suggest you are likely to publish good science in the future? And how have you impacted your field? They'll be looking for this information in the contributions to science section. So you want to make this information evident there. Pro tip number two is to tailor your biosketch. Each new grant proposal you submit should prompt you to revise your biosketch, especially the personal statement and possibly your contributions to science section as well. This applies whether you're the PI of the application or key personnel. Each personal statement in a biosketch must reflect that writer's role on the project. Also, you want to use language that makes your role on the project clear. Review language for nuances. If you are the PI of the application, do you make it sound like it? Here's an example of a personal statement from the NIH available here at this link where I have highlighted the different elements you want to include in your personal statement that show the skills and necessary experience you have for your role in the project. Here the applicant has included their background and expertise in the area that make them qualified for the role as well as a previous experience of leadership and language that makes them sound like they are the PI of the application. Pro tip number three is to emphasize your impact. You can do this by utilizing the contributions to science section as it was intended. In section C, you can describe up to five of your significant contributions to science. In each of the narrative sections, you want to use this four part structure here to describe your work as a contribution, not just your experience and expertise in the scientific area. In other words, your contributions to science section should not just be a continuation of your personal statement. This slide demonstrates the use of the four part structure in a narrative statement of the contributions to science section. The applicant has included the historical background that frames the scientific problem, as well as the central findings of the publications, the influence and findings on the progress of science, as well as the applicant's role in the work. Here are some more tips to boost your biosketch. You want to write in an engaging style to convey excitement about your science to the reviewers. You want to make your biosketch personal. This is your opportunity to tell reviewers about you, your career, and your expertise. And you really want to sell yourself. This is a continuation of grantsmanship. You want to communicate your qualifications for the role in the proposal in a clear and compelling way, provide context, and tell a story. It's also another way to demonstrate that you care about the details. If you are submitting a biosketch for a new grant mechanism or a new role, it's always best to get feedback beforehand from mentors and colleagues who have served on the NIH study sections. Here is a summary of best practices for boosting your biosketch. Tailor your personal statement to the grant mechanism, explain your role on the grant, and include publications that are most relevant to the grant. In your contributions to science section, make sure you focus on the impact of your work. Overall, make sure all of the bio sketches in your application are compliant and part of a cohesive package to increase the competitiveness of your application. 
sources of information used for this presentation are linked here in this slide. The slides for this video will also be available on our website. If you are interested in learning about other grant-related topics or have ideas for our next video or workshop, please visit our website or email us at msgrants.umich.edu.